I didn't have much sleep last night. The images were stuck in my head. I need to talk to Michelle. So this is the project that I was telling you about. These are the bears that are being kept in captivity in Laos for harvesting of the bear bile. And this is what I want to make a documentary about and what I'd like you to do with me. Okay. Um, so basically these bears are Asiatic black bears. Now they're hunted from the wild and what they do is every day, about twice a day, they drain them for their bile. What, what is the bile? The bile is from the gallbladder. So it's, a, it's like an acid that is used in traditional Chinese medicine. So... So they capture this... They this. capture the bear. So what they usually do is they kill the mothers and take the cubs and then they rear the cubs in these cages until they're old enough to be harvested for the bile or for milk. It's called milking for their bile. And then this process is done twice a day um, by different methods through different farms. But in this particular farm, what they would do is literally stab the bears. I think nothing prepares you for when you walk into a bear bile farm. Um, you, you can see all the pictures on the internet, you can read about it as much as you want, but it's the sound that gets you when you walk in there. And it, these farms, they just look like normal sheds in the middle of, I mean, they're, they're different, run, the different farms are run different, you know, run differently. But the first farm I went to was in the middle of the forest in Laos and it was just this old shed. And we walked inside and this minute the doors open, you just hear the sound and it's just, insanity of the bears. Well, this is in Laos, but in the past 30 years, bear bar farming is relatively new. So it's only come about in the past 30 years. And what they used to do is, traditionally they used to hunt the bears from the wild, take their gallbladder out and use that. And then they thought, well, we can, instead of killing a bear and using their one gallbladder, we can farm the bears. China also said that it would be good for conservation if they did that, and then it would save the bears being hunted from the wild. So if you farm the bears, you end up with more bears in the wild. Um, so that was their excuse for condoning the bear bile farming. And basically then, so for the past 30 years, it's been traditionally used in China um, and Vietnam, and it's only recently been uh, started in Laos, so that's why we what, what do they use the like the stuff for? It, well, they use it in traditional Chinese medicine and what they say is that it cures a range of things it, It's meant to reduce fever, but it can cure cancer headaches um, Hemorrhoids everything basically you name the illness and they say bear bile will help it. You showed me some footage of um, a bear that was dying uh, Can yeah. you tell me a little bit about uh, that story? Yeah, so that was the first bear that we saw at a bear farm. We were walking into this farm and um, this bear was out the front in this cage. And the owners said that the bear was out the front because she was dying. Um, they were still milking her for a bile. They just had removed her from the other bears and from the inside of the cage. And all she wanted to do was hold the hands of the people around her. That's all she wanted. And she died when we were there, um, and it was that was our introduction. And it turns out that she wasn't sick. She wasn't. She didn't have any illnesses. She just starved herself, and that was the only choice she'd ever made her whole life. And that choice was to die. And she'd been denied every single other choice her whole life, but she made that one choice, and that was to end her life. Me and Michelle talked for a few hours. She told me all about the project. She was planning a new trip to Laos, and this time, she wanted to bring a documentary team. She wants people to be aware of what's happening, and she wants to stop bear bile farming. By making this documentary, she wants to tell the story to everyone that wants to listen. To put pressure on the government of Laos, to make them stop to make them stop hurting these animals. She just found out that they're selling bear bite products 
in 20% of the Chinese medicine shops in New York. We wanted to see if we could find some products this night, but we didn't have much time. It was already late and shops were about to close. Our best guess where to find this was to go to Chinatown. None of the shops wanted to sell us any bear bio products, but they all knew what it was. Maybe they had it, but didn't want to sell it to us. I was affected by Michelle's story, and I felt like this was something that people need to know. On Michelle's next trip to Laos, I will join her and my camera will be my witness.